All right, let's do sentiment analysis in ChatGPT. I'm in the pl uh, playground here. You can actually do this in GPT plus as well, but I prefer to use the playground because you can mess around with the temperature and you can set the system message as well. So the prompt here is in a couple of parts. Uh, the first thing is the actual task and you can have this at the top here or you could put that into the system message. It works equally well. And then you want to provide some examples. So here are the examples. And what we're doing sentiment analysis on is some product reviews. And uh, you can see here the product review text, and then this is the actual text. And then I've said sentiment negative. So I've manually gone through and then said, okay, this one's positive, And then this one's neutral. So I've given it one example of each. You should be able to you know, figure out from there what the issue is. Uh, and then you've given it the last one, which is the product review text of the one that you don't know yet. And then you asking it for the sentiment for this. So that, this is you know, just all in one prompt. You could also just put this in the system message if you prefer, and then you could load in kind of one product review at a time. But let's just see how this does. Just gonna hit submit. And here we go, it just comes back with positive. That's really good because it's learned from these examples that all you need is just this one response. Then if you wanted to use that as code, you can click in view code here and then you can get the Python data. You have the full prompt. All you would need to do is change this prompt so that uh, that very last, that very last example that you put in is going to be just the, uh, the, the next one in the row. Uh, so uh, you could actually call this once for each new, each new review that comes in or a whole spreadsheet of reviews if you needed to. Cool. So that's how you do sentiment analysis. Tend to give it a few examples, kind of tell it what, you know, what you need to label it as, and then just give it the last example and it should be able to provide a pretty good label.